Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the Volkswagen ID4. This is the 82 kilowatt hour version of rear wheel drive. And today and tomorrow, I'm going to be driving from Oslo to Arctic Circle and back again. So this is going to be one of the standardized, well, I don't want to call it a test, but a trip at least. And we can then compare with other cars. Uh, so the, the trip, I've done this in uh, four, with four different other cars, two Teslas, an ID3 and a Polestar. And because this one has a bigger battery than the ID3, then I think actually it might beat it, or I'm not sure really. So I'm not sure. I think this car will do it in about 13 to 14 hours. So today we will have a little bit of rain, at least a little bit past Trondheim, and then we get some nice weather. So I've been charged 100% now, preheating the car. We have sleeping equipment with us, we have food, we have, we're gonna live stream. This is going to be quite exciting. And since last time, by the way, we had those um, uh, Arctic Circle test. Uh, this one, okay, so maybe a little bit unfair, but uh, now we have a uh, high power charger, Ionity in Arvdal. Oh, that's gonna help big time. So, we're gonna do some final preparation and then off we go to, I don't know where then the first stop is. Uh, it might be uh, Hanestad, it might be Koppang or maybe Arvdal. We are now in Arvdal. It uh, was three, uh, 295 kilometers from Oslo to Arvdal, and the ID4 made it here in a single charge. I even had 11% left, and this is with dry, ro I mean, wet road most of the time. So, wow, impressive. Yeah, now we're charging up, and uh, we are getting, uh, oh, we're getting 105 kilowatts. Yeah, not too shabby. 105 peak is about 125 so you can say it's slightly cold getting but you see it's slowly ramping up and heating up the battery so this is good but you know what so the next stop will be uh Klett, which is if i remember correctly i think i have to double check i think it was around 160 170 kilometers from here which means that we we shouldn't charge it too long <laughs> because we also want to arrive at Klett with about 10 percent on the next one that's the way to optimize with speed and hopefully Clit will see 125 kilowatt. So I have to do my calculation, but we, we can't stay here too long and I have to eat a little bit. So, so far so good. Superb comfort with the ID3, ID4. Very nice soundproofing. You know, we had dry, we had wet road and usually we heard that, you would hear that hissing sound when you drive on the road. I had, I heard almost nothing here. It needs to be tested. So overall, so far, I'm very happy with the, the ID4. Right, I've been eating my sandwich, I went to the restroom, and now we're good to go. We were actually good to go a couple of minutes ago. I calculated that we only need 60% to get to Klett. It's kind of hard to see it, maybe. Uh, let me see, you have to... There. So we're at 65, that's fine. So we see 28 minutes of charging. Even at 65%, we're getting 70 kilowatts. We're getting mostly 100 kilowatts. We can, I can calculate average charging speed for you guys here. But good to go. So now we unplug and start hammering it again for clut.
we are now at Shodan and uh, this is uh, a little bit past um, Trondheim and you know uh, one benchmark I also have is that how long does it take to go to Trondheim it takes less than six hours to get to Trondheim it took uh, six hours and 15 20 minutes to get here that's actually pretty impressive we only charge once to get well not even Trondheim but here <laughs> so I checked that we had uh, we charged for half an hour at Ionity and then we drove for two and a half hours that's an, that's a ratio I can live with half an hour charging and two and a half hour driving that's how it is in Norway so um, uh, right now over here this is the last out outpost of high power chargers we have 250 kilowatt over there and two more here unfortunately these are ABB chargers so the we, we actually don't, we have no idea how fast we're charging. Well, we can get some idea by looking at this one. I can do some quick math. Six, do, 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 do. Uh, we're getting about the 100 kilowatt. Yeah, quick math. So uh, it's not, it's still kind of slightly cold gating. We haven't seen 125 kilowatt yet. So I guess this is something that uh, Volkswagen needs to be working on. But okay, so anyway, we have to stay here for a while. I'm going to go to the restroom and gas station over there, Circle K, and get some food. Man, I went to the restroom and we are at 51% already. So, yes, we're gonna have a little cheat weekend today. So, and this weekend, so I'm, I bought some burger. This is 200 gram burger. I haven't had a burger for a month. So, give me some slack, please. We have been charging for about 45 minutes and I think we're almost good to go now. So the car here estimates I have 381 kilometers of range. I estimate roughly that I have about 300. Well, I mean, this is, of course, down to zero, but at least I should practically have about 330 or something, which is pretty massive. <laughs> so um, I'm going to stop. Next stop is going to be not Namskogon, but Mayawatten. Um, and that's 270 kilometers away. Where, where, where do we see it? Uh, there 270 kilometers away <laughs> so that that means we're going to make it there past that point we are, there's no man's land right now it looks like we are charging at around 40 40 um kilowatts roughly i did the rough calculation and it seems like every kilometers per minute equals to yeah in the beginning we were getting 100 kilowatt and uh 100 kilometers per minute no wait, not 100 uh, 10 kilometers per minute, yeah. But anyway, I think it's time to lean now. 88%, we're gonna do final preparations, and then we have to drive about three and a half hours. <laughs> so this time we charge for 45 minutes and we drive for three and a half hours. Yeah, all right, let's go. We are now at Mayawatten, juicing up. This is the third charging session and it's actually the first 50 kilowatt charging session, huh? So, you know, Alvdal Super, the Alvdal uh, Ionity Charger actually makes it really much faster. I, I estimated it makes the whole trip half an hour faster, but okay, anyway, so right here, 
Well, we have some mere chargers. They still have good contact. Logo, this one is kaput. That one is probably working, but we don't need it. And we are now on 50 kilowatts. And here's the ID4. I just, I just parked like a douche. Nah, it's actually not that big of a deal. See, I'm not blocking for anyone. And now it's easy for me to just unhook and then get out of here. So the trick I use, you see that the lights are on right now. <laughs> this is what it looks like at night when you meet the ID4. <laughs> um, over here is two degrees Celsius. It doesn't feel that cold actually, but I'm gonna show you the trick is that I buckle up like this when I'm outside the car, when I'm filming, because then, and there, here we have the ambient light. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we have nice, nice and cool ambient light inside here. So it's a, it's a nice place really to drive. Uh, okay, let me turn on the lights. I can actually turn on these lights also to get extra light. Just, and I, I like it nice and bright inside here, see? So I've calculated that I need 55%. We are 31%. So we have to stay here for about 25 more minutes. And um, the plan now is that, <laughs> okay, wait, how can I zoom out here? Mm, mm. Okay, I can do this, settings. No, 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 wait, wait I can do, I can do this. Oh, sorry, I, went to, uh, I can do this and this, there, there, there. We are going to drive to, straight to Moirana, which is the end point for tonight. And the distance there doesn't show here for some reason, or there, 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 178 kilometers. I did all the calculations. Uh, on the way here, the consumption went up a little bit. 205 so I'm actually estimating 215 because we have some from some 90 so on the next one But we have also height elevation advantage. I did all the calculation and I figured out that we need to charge to 55% it shouldn't take too long in about 20 25 minutes. We'll finish. So yeah <laughs> And here we have the live stream. I put them on the panorama roof with a long shaft So I think oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you the food so you know, a real polar circle trip is not complete unless you bring polar bread. <laughs> so I have polar bread, this will be breakfast tomorrow, maybe a little bit of food now, and always bring bacon cheese. Bacon makes everything better, oh yeah. And then let's see, I also brought some, uh, some dried mangoes, mm -hmm. some snack. I also have, uh, wait, uh, I have bananas. Yes, always bring bananas. Uh, and uh, since it's uh, weekend, I also brought some candy. I have still haven't popped up the candy, and I will not finish it this weekend. I'm just gonna eat a little bit now, and then maybe eat a little bit during the, the range test in a couple of days, and also maybe the yellow test and the 1,000 kilometer challenge. So it will take several days before I finish this. But I actually did bring lots of food. I also have more. I have the kettle, the noodle, whatever. But right now, I think I'm gonna go for some uh, uh, polar bread. We have finally reached Muirana and the time is... Wait, wait, let me see. I went to the restroom, but uh, the time was when we came here was 11.35. So it means that we spent uh, 13 hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> so from last year, the ID3 needed 14 hours. So we are actually 40 minutes faster, but 
Uh, when I mentioned earlier that uh, Aldo, so I did a little calculation. It seems like it's about 20 minutes faster because of Aldo. So this car would have done it in 14, uh, 13 hours and 40 minutes if we didn't have uh, Aldo. So it is faster. It makes sense because it has, it has a bigger battery, but it's also slightly more, uh, slightly thirstier. But I have to say, very impressive because keep in mind that we don't have any supercharger support here we've been running on some 50 kilowatts well actually only one of them so the good thing is that we could we could we could go pretty far on high power charging network until we had to start charging on uh, 50 kilowatts so yeah very very impressive and actually the id4 here did it better than polestar because polestar is actually kind of thirsty and also the Polestar didn't have so much range. Those two combined makes the Polestar worse because you can't go, I mean, after the last high power charger, you're kind of stuck with the 50 kilowatt. So I had, I remember I wasted a lot of time just charging on 50 kilowatt on the Polestar. So <laughs> very impressive and it's a large, a fairly large car. So what's, what's gonna happen now is that I'm going to, um, I just ordered pizza <laughs> over at Circle K. I'm gonna try the pizza. I need the meal. This is my cheat weekend. And then we will try to sleep in the back here. I think the sleeping in the back of the ID4 is way more comfortable than ID3. So right now we're just charging up on the Mer charger. Well, I still can go talk about this Mer. And as usual, I'm gonna show you in there. See, I just buckle up <laughs> uh, so it can keep running. And right now it, it actually doesn't matter how fast we charge. I think we're getting 40 kilowatt over there, but we're gonna stay here for probably half an hour at least and eat and chill. And here we have the live stream people. Yeah, so in, in the back there, in the trunk, I have, I have all the sleeping equipment. The trunk here takes a lot of uh, stuff. So eventually after food, we're gonna set it up for sleep and then have to figure out where to sleep also. The pizza has arrived. So this is a uh, custom pizza. I mean, local pizza here at Circle K. But unfortunately, there was only one size, 179. There was no small pizza thing. So I guess I'm gonna eat some, some today and then some tomorrow, but I wasn't planning on doing it. So cheat weekend for the win. <laughs> oh man, I ate half the pizza. We've been staying here for Actually, I don't know, maybe at least half an hour. So it's, it's maybe longer. It's half, it's 37 minutes past midnight now. So yeah, so the rest the half, the rest of the half pizza will be eaten tomorrow, I guess. Um, <clears throat> now the plan is to travel to, uh, I'm gonna travel towards um, Arctic Circle and I will camp at that same spot. It is, there's a place, a uh, resting area with 24 seven gas, I mean, uh, toilet and also Fortum fast charger. So that's on the foot of the mountain because I want to get as close as possible to uh, the Arctic Circle, but I don't want to go to tonight because everything is just dark. So um, let's do the final preparation again and then off we go. We are now at Krugstrana, juicing up at the Fortum Charger. So um, I don't know the preparations, most of it now in the back, you see. We arranged that uh, we get nice space in the back for sleeping. We also put some of the uh, Model 3 sunshades around there. Yeah. So I have to put the rest in there. Right now we are charging up the car. Because at first I thought about AC charging, but I don't remember if uh, we can keep the heater on while we plugged in. So that's why we're just gonna DC fast charge and then stay unplugged overnight. And I also brought 
Well, let me see. Yeah, well, it's some of it here. I brought dumbbell. I'm gonna show you tomorrow morning because the trick with the ID3 or ID4 is that it will not keep the heat on unless you buckle up and then you put some weight on the driver's seat. <laughs> I have a video about this where I work in the Model 3. Uh, sorry, in the ID3. So it should also work in the ID4. I call it the rise and dumbbell trick. But okay, now I'm gonna charge a little bit more and then I guess I have to move the car a little bit here over there. So you see, we are almost good to go now. We have to charge maybe 10 more minutes. And uh, you see, there we have public restroom, very nice and clean. And the trucks are also parked over here. And there's also, a, there is a, a van camping there. But I don't like to park over there because the trucks, they will start and stop in the morning. But I think that spot is perfect. It's also part of the, of the resting area, but they just uh, haven't uh, cleared all the snow. So yeah, that's going to be the plan. So now you just have to park, I mean, charge a little bit more and then we move over. Okay, this is it. We have moved to the camping location. We cover all the windows, this side, this side. And uh, here's the interesting part that uh, the trick is that we have to unbuckle up here. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but you see the belt. And then I put some sheepskin just to even out the pressure. And then below here we have the dumbbells. And I just put whatever here, extra weight. As much weight as possible. I don't remember how much we need. Maybe 15 kilos or something. Maybe even 10 kilos in the right spot. And this will hopefully keep the car running. So let's see. It's now 10 minutes past 2. Oh, it's getting late. And we have 81%. So time to sleep. So I think that's going to be it. We will see how many percent we use over the night. And if the dumbbell trick works. <laughs> so, all right. Good night, guys. And see you tomorrow morning.